Now, I've got one of the wrestlers here with me that's performing tonight and has been doing for the last two or three nights, uh, Bobby Lashley. Now, Bobby, I want to ask you the question, the question that begets everybody. Why does a person like yourself become a wrestler in the first place? I think it's just one of those things where you, you have to become something. I've mm -hmm. been in combat sports my entire life. Mm -hmm. I started amateur wrestling when I was in the seventh grade. Yeah. I won three national championships when I was in college. I took second in the world yeah. in wrestling. And then from just uh, meeting the right people and going to the right yeah. places, I was able to get brought into WWE, yeah. which is professional wrestling yeah. on a larger scale in, in the United States. And then from there, I just kept doing it. I love it. So, And uh, you know, when you get the chance to come to places like Qatar, I mean, does it ever uh, does it ever sort of worry you or anything like that? The fact that you know Qatar is uh, basically quite a small country. And, I mean, do you think when you were being invited to come and wrestle here that you're going to have a, a problem or anything like that with not enough crowds or things like that? Well, you know, any any time you go to a new area, you're going to have to build the crowd and and, and let them understand and show them, yeah. show you firsthand what what we do. So. Of course, when we come here originally, we expect the crowds to be a little lower, but the more we come back, word of mouth kind of spreads. They yeah. know what kind of shows yeah. we put on. People enjoy it. It's good, good entertainment, so then they keep, keep building. So hopefully when we come back, we'll have a bigger crowd than this time, and then next time, and next time, and next time. We're looking at longevity here. We're looking yeah. at doing something for a long time with guitar. So if we have an opportunity to do something now, later on it's going to be bigger and better and just keep going from there. Now, in the ring, quite, quite often, I mean, uh, I suppose you wouldn't say every day, but quite frequently, I've seen I've seen wrestlers get hurt. Yes. Now, when you get hurt in the ring and you're out of the, say, you have to stay, uh, you have to take a month off. I mean, does that affect your uh, your salaries and uh, the way you do things, or is there a, do you have a way of uh, you know accruing that? Even do you have a, a kind of a a net, a safety net, oh, well, in case you get injured. Well, when, when I wrestled for the WWE, we did have what we call a downside. Mm. So regardless if you're wrestling or you're hurt, you still get paid weekly yeah. so that you can be able to pay your bills and everything yeah. like that. Since I'm not really affiliated with anyone right now, this is my lifestyle. So if I get hurt today, I won't get paid tomorrow. So um, the recovery and recoup and everything like that yeah. has to be pretty efficient, pretty quick. I have to take care of myself a little bit out here because I can't hurt. But then for me, I have other streams of income. Like I, 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 I own a gym in Colorado, and then I fight mixed martial arts. I fight professionally. So I mean, if I get hurt in wrestling, I can't fight, but I can still run my gym. Yeah. So that's that's the main source that I, I feed my family with is that, and all of this is what I enjoy, what I love. Professional wrestling, I enjoy, I love. Mm -hmm. Fighting, I, I enjoy and I love also. Yeah. Now the other thing is, of course, uh, I mean to keep your physique and everything. Uh, when you're not wrestling, are you, how long do you spend in the gym? Well, I believe in training smarter, not longer. Yeah. A lot of people go to the gym and they say, I spend two, three hours in the gym. Mm. You can't do that. The proper way to do it and the intelligent way to do it is, is to work 75 minutes or less, hour and 15 yes. minutes or less. Yeah. Outside of that, you're actually eating your own muscle for energy. So you don't yeah. want to do that. So for what I do is I work out for about an hour a day, four to six days a week. Yeah. So if I want to really get fit, then that's to, that's like for you the golden rule: 75 minutes a day, that's the and most. I can I can fit myself up a little bit. Absolutely. And if you need help with that, you call me. Yeah. I can make it happen. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Thank and you. I hope you have a great night tonight. Absolutely.